hello guys welcome back to my channel it's me tess and yeah today i'm going to share you i'm going to share with you my thoughts and opinions on the disney line as a whole and the new collector dolls elsa and anna i love frozen and i absolutely love them but don't worry this is not a biased opinion you're getting my true thoughts as an obsessed disney fan herself so I will not be sugarcoating anything just because I'm a Disney fan. I'm going to say truth because that's what I do. I actually, it's one of flaw, it's one of my flaws. I'm actually very truthful and can be very blunt. I think it's because of my autism, but I digress. Let's get started. This is the second try, actually. <laughs> I kind of got carried away on my first try and um, started talking about things that really have nothing to do with this collapse. So we're gonna redo it um let's start with elsa so elsa's my favorite she's my queen i absolutely love elsa she's my favorite character but she's not my favorite doll that they created anna is and anna's not even my favorite she's my second favorite but she's like not the favorite um so i am a little disappointed in Elsa just a little bit just a little bit and I'm gonna tell you why so first off we have Elsa in her beautiful gown from the first Frozen with her cape and when she was singing let it go we all know that I love that scene when she when her dress appears and <laughs> magic it's so pretty I love when she's building the castle that scene is great I love the let it go scene I love it but I digress. Let's just get right into it. Let's go to her face. Actually, let's show this one. So here's how her hair is situated. It has, it looks like it has a ponytail up there and then goes into, what the heck? And then goes into the braid. Um, so yeah. I don't believe I don't recommend when you get this doll, if you have bought her, to take the hair out. If you do that, it's going to be jagged and many different lengths because it was cut, manufactured into this braid and it's meant to be in this braid. Um, so I do not recommend taking it out. However, if you do, just know that is what it's going to look like. I think, again, I don't have her. I won't have her. She ships. So they will ship september 6th and it also depends on how early on my um my payment got through so it really depends for me i don't know when mine will ship i didn't get her right away because i was not up at 12 a.m when they released that day so yeah she has snowflake clips in her hair with blue sarasi kistles in the, in the middle of it she has a tundral, which wor is worrisome. It looks like it's going to be crusty, but I don't really think I'm going to be taking my Elsa out of the box. Um, I could be wrong. I probably, <laughs> um, knowing me, I'm going to say that and then like two weeks later, she's out of the box. So don't take my word for that. Don't hold me hostage for that. <laughs> um, her eye color it is labeled as blue, but I'm not seeing that it is blue. It looks more like, it does have blue tint, but it looks more like a greenish blue to me. It looks like Rapunzel's eye color, but again, I probably, I won't know until she gets here. And until I have her in my hand and I can really look at it and see the color. Um, but either way, the um, the greenish in the eyes i don't believe is accurate i believe elsa has blue eyes um not a greenish blue but i believe they're like a light blue but i digress um it looks like she has blue earrings which is so cute nice touch she has the marie grace face mold which i know is a hit or miss for people in the community you either like it or you don't there's really no gray area um, it also has the most flaws from what I've heard where it is very hard to find a good one so but unfortunately we can't 
we can't go to the store and get these dolls. They are not sold in stores, only sold online. Um, the bodice. It looks like the material, I don't know what the material is. People were saying that it was velvet, which it kind of looks like it is. It's soft. I am not a fan of sequins, so I'm really not a fan of her bodice. I'm actually kind of quite tempted to, when I get her, to take her out of the box. Like I said, I wouldn't, and find a different Elsa dress for her because I do not like it. But if I don't take her out of the box, then I'll just leave it. Um, she has Sarossi crystals on, like, the top of the dress. Um, going some on her sleeve but they don't cover the sleeve which is great um, she has some detailing uh, there kind of looks like iron-ons I don't know but it's cute nonetheless and then here's some Sarasi crystals on the bottom of the dress the dress actually looks really nice it looks like it's gonna be soft I'm excited to feel how it feels I will be taking the lid off but I'm not gonna like deboxer if that makes sense like because i really want to i love to feel things as though i want to feel how it feels and this looks like it's made out of fishnet material i don't know the actual name but that's what it looks like and then she has these clear blue shoes with a heel which is very pretty my only dislike for heels is that <gasps> Is that it makes it hard for the doll to to stand the heel <laughs> the heel makes them fall over but if she's gonna be staying in the box it's not a concern for me but it might be for you so here's a look at everything she comes with and it's so cute the clips the earrings the blue underwear and the heels and it looks like she has the lightest skin tone, as she should, because Elsa's pretty pale. Um, and the design inside the box is really pretty. It's her castle that she created, and there's lots of glitter snowflakes inside. And then the lid also has some snowflakes, so that's really cute. I'm glad that they did that. And then the lid has her concept art on there. Um, very cute. Love it. And then she has the Certificate of Authenticity. So she is out of 7,000 and Anna's out of 5,000. I'm assuming they think Elsa's going to sell the best, but only time will tell. So with that being said, let's get to the sister, Anna. Anna's really cute. She is my favorite of the two dolls. Not my favorite character, but my favorite doll that they made. Um, she has the most beautiful red hair with the bangs, so cute, and then it's braided. And she is the Joss mold, which is my, I, I don't know what down the line it is my favorite, but it is a favorite mold of mine. I absolutely adore it. I, I love the Joss mold so much, so I'm happy that she has it. And she has a cape, and the cape looks so soft. It looks really cool. And the detail is immaculate. Love the detailing on it. Like, they did a really, good, really good job on the Anna doll. She has magenta colored earrings. I think that's the color. I think that's the name of the color. Um, she has a metal clasp, which is really cool. Those pom poms. So cute. And then the gold embroidery that is, that go, like, outlines the bodice. And then the bodice itself is black with the little green embroidery or teal i think that's a teal color and sarossi crystals very pretty very movie accurate love this um i think the only thing that i would have changed or added was more freckles to her face because anna actually has a lot of freckles um and then the bottom of her dress has a ton of sarossi crystals and the flowers that is on the flowers that are embroidered in there just like in the movie and then it it's just so cute and then she has her black boots and the bottom of the boots are magenta color which is really cute um the boots are not 
perfect. They're not exactly movie accurate, but they are cute. I believe in the movie her boots are a little longer than this, but I could be wrong. We don't really see her boots that much, but I'm just judging it off of the Disney Store classic on a doll that I have. And her boots are, they go to her knees. So I'm just judging it off of that. So again, I could be wrong. If this could be movie accurate, they could be ankle boots. I don't know. But uh, this design on the boots, um, they're not the exact design that she has on her boots but they're very close and they're very pretty they actually might be the design. i don't know i actually i really don't look at anna that much so i don't know um what it is but i absolutely love this doll i i think american girl should have had both of them be out of seven thousand i think that anna is gonna sell just as well as elsa if not better because from what i'm seeing online people like anna more than elsa the doll they may like elsa more as a character but they like anna the doll more and i will agree with that and this is coming from an obsessed elsa fan the doll the Anna doll was better executed than the Elsa doll, in my personal opinion. But I still bought both of them. And, of course, I'm an Elsa fan. So I didn't care what she was going to look like. I didn't care if I was going to like it. She was going to come home regardless. Because it's Elsa. And I'm a huge fan. So, like I said before, Anna is out of 5,000. So... Yeah, and here's a look at the box again. Actually, the design on Anna's box, which I didn't hear anybody say, is actually different. Her design in the box is of Arendelle, whereas in Elsa's box, it's of Elsa's castle. So that's an important note to take. That's something that um, the reviews that I've heard, nobody has said. They all said it was the same, but I'm looking at it and zooming in and that's an arendelle castle that's not elsa's castle i will go back to elsa so you can see um what i'm seeing um i didn't even think to check that but yeah see it's different their design is different in the box that is really cool that they completely like they, that's really cool that's <laughs> that's really nice detail that they did that um that's <laughs> that that's really cool that i i didn't think they would do that i'll zoom back into hers it's that's definitely arendelle's castle the snowflakes in there are the same but like the actual design in there is different it's hers is the arendelle castle so that's another thing to note and then here's her concept art very cute um, yeah, so I really love Anna and I really love Elsa and I can't wait to get them both. Go over to Rapunzel. Oh, I forgot to show the price. So you guys probably already know this. The limited edition dolls are $310. American Girl has raised their prices up to $10, I believe. So last year, the collectors were $300. This year, they are $310 last year or not last earlier i think it was it might have still been in 2023 the disney princess playline dolls actually no did they come out this year either way the disney princess played playline dolls um they were 125 and now they're 135 um so yeah so here is the playline rapunzel and i'm gonna give you my honest opinions honestly i think they should have waited for the rapunzel playline doll and i'm sorry because i know there's a lot of people that love rapunzel and i know a lot of people did miss out on the collector version so it's not coming because i'm not saying this because i got the collector version i'm saying this because i think another princess would have been cool since they just came out with the limited edition last year like literally a year ago um yeah, I think around this time they came out. I think sometime in July. Didn't they come out? Was it on? I don't. Anyway, it was literally a year ago. And I think they could have waited another year before they brought out a Playline Rapunzel. I. But I digress. They brought her out. She's beautiful nonetheless. 
if you missed out on Philip and Dish and Rapunzel, definitely get this one. You will not regret it. She's a gorgeous doll, but yours is going to have a bit shorter, shorter hair than the limited edition one. But that's fine because, trust me, it's not all as cracked up to be. Um, limited edition Rapunzel's hair is very hard to brush through because of how long it is. It, for lack of better term and no pun intended, it tangles. Yeah, it gets tangled when you're trying to do any hairstyle. It's very difficult. So I think this one will be better. I have a feeling it's going to be similar experience because it's still pretty long but um and it looks pretty thick from this photo it looks pretty thick and from the video i watched of chris when he unboxed her it's thick so uh, you might still have the same issue but i feel like it's going to be a little a lot easier than the rapunzel than the limited edition rapunzel so that's her hair that's how long it goes to um her dress is more like a costume than it is her movie dress. It isn't, it's not movie accurate whatsoever. I don't even think the colors are the same. And Rapunzel was, uh, before Frozen came out, Tangled was my fave. Uh, Rapunzel was my favorite. She was everything to me. But take that with a grain of salt because, like, literally every Disney princess is my favorite. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but I watched this movie nonstop that I know every word to the movie. I can recite it to you if you wanted me to. I can recite the movie for you. Um, that is how much I watched it. And I know the songs by heart, of course. And then... <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure I watched Tangled actually more than Frozen, even though I have to say Frozen is my favorite movie. But I literally, I think I watched Tangled more. Because <laughs> I, I couldn't, I can't recite all of the lines to Frozen. I can't. Not the first one, at least. I could to the second, I think. <laughs> but I think that's because the second one was more recent. Um, and I just like, show yourself. Um, in the beginning, I can recite the beginning of Frozen too, but I digress. It's not about Frozen right now. We're going to Tangled. Uh, I love, I love what they did with her dress though. I really do. It's really cute. I love the gold bow. I I think is really cute. Let's go back to this picture. Um, so it has these gold accents so beautiful has the stripes that is movie accurate the stripes on the cuff of the sleeves um is movie accurate she does have that in the movie the what i'm noticing is the they don't have she doesn't have sleeves they didn't do sleeves for this um they only have the puffy sleeve but they don't have the long sleeves that she's supposed to have which which is weird that they don't i don't i don't know where my eyes did not see that before yeah, I just assumed that it was there, and so my eyes magically put it there. But she does not have sleeves. Huh. Interesting. That's so disappointing. Yeah, it's, this dress really isn't movie accurate at all. But it's still pretty. Like, it's still pretty. The limited edition one is definitely more movie accurate. So, yeah. I, I would tell you guys to get the limited edition doll, but honestly, I... I she is going for so much on the secondary market. It's not worth it. Just get the Playline doll and maybe find someone on Etsy that can create a movie accurate dress for you. That's what I would do if I was in your situation because um, if you wanted more movie accurate. But if you like this dress, by all means, take it because it's so cute. Like, it's really cute. I still love it. So, but then it's me and I'm really easily impressed um, I feel like I'm the only one who gets easily impressed that I like everything. But I also, there were things that I don't like. But I think that's why my opinion is more valid. Because I'm easily impressed. And if there's something I don't like, I feel like it's more valid. <laughs> if you're someone that's like never impressed by anything, like it's hard to take you seriously. Because it's like, well, you don't like anything. So <laughs> why would we think you like this? But like I like there's not much I don't like so um it's really funny I'm really easily impressed 
but this dress looks great it looks really soft i i was really tempted to buy her again but i i'm like staring at my limited edition rapunzel right now i don't need a double but then i could put mine back in the box and she can stay pristine she's still pristine though i have taken her to two places there's not a scratch on her her hair is still perfect um i don't know she's perfect so um and she still smells like a new doll <laughs> so yeah she's she's still perfect and maybe i don't know you'll probably i'm gonna say i'm not gonna buy her right now but it's probably gonna happen <clears throat> i'll probably get her eventually but i think i'll get um ariel first my voice uh. <laughs> but here's the more here's more pictures but my here's the box the box is really cute it has the picture of her you want to know what she looks like she looks like the disney um limited edition rapunzel the one for the 10 year anniversary of tangled she looks like that one in the picture right there um but a uh, little like they did the same thing with the dress it had the uh what is this like the i don't know what it's called i wish i knew my i wish i knew but the it's underneath the bodice part and it it's frilly i don't know what it's called but they did that to the dress of the 10th the 10th anniversary of tangled and i don't believe that one had sleeves either so maybe they are basing it off of that one so they are the same exact doll both of them have the marie grace the marie grace face mold i originally thought that she had a different one due to this picture because her cheeks in this photo look very um look chubbier and the chin doesn't come out like the marie grace mold does but i think it's just the angle and that makes sense because when i saw chris's video of her she's definitely a marie grace face mold so there's no doubt in my mind she's marie grace the marie grace face mold very cute um you if you have a chance to get her in, in the store um i'm gonna take chris's points um go and get her because from what chris said doll studio by chris he said that he had to go through all 10 of the dolls over there to find the one that he bought so there's a lot of there is a lot of um defects and that's that's really what the marie grace mold is it has a lot of defects i think it always has marie grace herself as well um so it's just something that just hasn't changed and i don't know if it ever will but keep that in mind so i think this rapunzel is beautiful personally i like i said before i i would i wish they would have waited another year and released a different princess because that would have been cool but hey who knows maybe i'll manifest aurora coming in because i would have liked aurora it's her 65th anniversary and it would have been cool to have aurora instead of rapunzel who had just come out a year prior that's just my personal opinion i'm sorry if it hurts anyone's feelings because I know a lot of I know a lot of people love Rapunzel. She's very popular, and a lot of people want her, and they missed out on her, or they didn't have the funds then, and she sold out really fast, which she did. She sold out really fast. Um, so I get it, and I sympathize with you. I understand. I just wish they would have waited another year because it would have been cool to have Aurora. And let's take a look at her accessories. I don't know if anyone's done this yet but um they probably have actually rainbow cat rainbow is it rainbow cat unicorn one i think that's the name i think it's rainbow unicorn cat one i don't even know um i'll put it on the screen when um i'll put it on the screen when i edit but here's the accessories it comes with the painting this painting is so cute it's actually from the movie she was painting on the wall and this was um one it it was shown during when will my life begin the beginning the opening song and 
yeah she has a she has a jar of water which is to wash off the paintbrush and right now it looks like it's purple so she must have been using purple um she must have been painting her dress she has the satchel <laughs> which is really funny she has pascal and honestly i think they should have had pascal with her um in the limited edition one but i'm glad that it's in the accessories and she has a frying pan um, if you know, you know, I'm going to repeat a line. Ooh, mama, I have got to get me one of these. <laughs> okay. But yeah, if you know, you know, <laughs> that line's funny. Um, yes. So here she is wearing the satchel and there's the paint. Yes. So cute. Pascal looks adorable. He looks very well done very movie accurate the detailing on him looks great <clears throat> but i'm gonna be honest i don't think this is worth forty dollars i'm i don't think any of this makes up the forty dollar price tag that they put on this i think it should have been like maybe 32 and maybe that's even too high but for american girl that's what accessories used to be priced at so that's why i said 32 but um i digress i really don't think this again i haven't seen it in person so maybe the the um let me know if you've seen it let me know in the comments i hope that the comments are enabled if they are please let me know in the comments if this set is like high quality let me know if it's high quality, then I'll take my thing back. <laughs> but right now, looking at the pictures, I don't think it's worth $40. And like I said, I'm going to be brutally honest. So I, I just don't see $40. But I know American Girl also increased their prices. So that's probably what's reflecting. And so I guess that's what it is. And nothing we can really do about that. But yeah next accessory that she has is this one it is the hair accessories now i'm gonna also be honest i know this is for kids so i'm trying to come at it from a kid's standpoint but i'm also going to add in my personal opinions as well from a kid standpoint this is wonderful they're gonna absolutely love this they're gonna adore it it's gonna be great i feel like they're really going to have a lot of fun using this set from an adult collector standpoint now. That opinion. My personal opinion. I don't know if it's going to be yours, but from my perspective, I, it's not accurate at all. Like, um, she's, I don't know why they put the pink and purple hair extension in here because it's not accurate. The, I'm glad they put the tiara in there. It's cute. And the jewels are not accurate either. The flowers are. Um, the brush is. I believe. I remember. That's what Mother Gothel and Rapunzel used to brush her hair. So that is accurate. But I think why they added these hair accessories is because they needed something Rapunzel. Rapunzel does not change her outfit in the movie it's the same one throughout the movie except for when except for the end i believe i think i think it's like i uh, i would have to watch it again to remember but um i think at the end she changes her dress like the very very end so they had nothing to really work with but from what i'm hearing the um they she did have outfits in the series but from what i'm gathering is i think they're doing um outfits and stuff based off of the movies alone so they're not doing it from the series so that is why they didn't maybe put outfits that she had in the series i haven't watched the whole series i've only watched a few episodes um actually i might do that tonight i might watch some episodes with rapunzel because why not um but yeah but i i really also think that american girl could have been creative and created outfits they think that she would have worn 
and maybe collaborated with Disney. I mean, this is a collab, but you know what I mean. Like, talk with them, talk whoever, and see what their vision was and what they think Rapunzel would have worn. Um, if she had changed her outfit more. Um, so, yeah, there's that. I, and then, yeah, but that's really cute. So they have the jewels, but I also think kids are going to have fun. And so for that, I think this is a great set. $40 now. No, it's not worth $40. Am I still going to buy it? Yeah. <laughs> I am still going to buy both accessory packs because I am a completionist. Well, kind of. I, I'm a completionist, kind of. The reason I say kind of is because I will not be adding Belle to my collection. I do plan on adding Jasmine and Ariel, but I will not be adding Belle. If Jasmine sells out, I will not be adding Jasmine because I'm not paying the secondary prices for that. I'm not doing it. I'm not paying $600 for Belle. Not doing it. I was going to buy Belle, but she sold out before I could get her. And I only had funds at the time for Rapunzel. So that is why I did not get Belle at the time. And then when I was ready to get Belle, she sold out. Very disappointed. I hope she comes in play line. Um, I'm glad. That's why I'm glad that Rapunzel's in the play line for people. I know I said before, I wish they would have held out for another year. I still wish that. But I'm also happy because people who didn't get her when she came out because she sold out so dang fast get her now as a playline doll and that's exciting to me i love seeing other people happy so <laughs> i'm glad that happened. anyway thanks again for watching comment like subscribe to all the things and i'll see you guys next video